Hello data workers, Kwame here and welcome back. In today's video, I answer to the best of my abilities the question of who or what a data analyst is, how you might already be a data analyst and not know it, and how you can take your first steps to becoming a professional data analyst. Let's go. Let's kick things off by understanding what a data analyst really is. In simple terms, a data analyst is a professional who dives deep into data to extract meaningful insights. They use various tools and techniques to analyze information, helping organizations to make informed decisions. But here's the thing, being a data analyst is not confined to job titles. It's a skill that many of us use on a regular basis, often without realizing it. In the professional world, data analysts play a crucial role in transforming raw data into actionable insights. They collect, process, and analyze data to help organizations optimize their business processes, identify trends, and ultimately, make informed decisions. They work with statistical methods, programming languages, and data visualization tools to interpret complex data sets. So from finance to healthcare, data analysts are the unsung heroes shaping the way organizations operate in the digital age. Now that you know what data analysts do, let's take a closer look at the skills they bring to the table. The toolkit of a data analyst is diverse, ranging from programming languages like SQL and Python to a deep understanding of statistical methods. They are also adept at using data visualization tools such as Tableau or Power BI. But interestingly, the most ubiquitous data analytics tool is age-old Microsoft Excel. It is a staple in the data analytics world thanks to its excellent built-in capabilities and intuitive, easy-to-use interface. And of course, Excellent communication skills are a must for delivering the results and findings of any analysis. So basically, the ability not just to analyze data, but also communicate the findings effectively is what sets a great data analyst apart. Now, here is where it gets interesting. How many of you have tracked your expenses in a spreadsheet or checked the reviews before buying a product online? Congratulations. You've just stepped into the shoes of a data analyst without knowing it. Everyday tasks like comparing options, analyzing trends, or even just checking social media metrics makes you a data analyst in some way. Basically, what I am saying is that anyone can analyze data, not just the experts. Let's break it down further with a more concrete example. Before I became a so-called professional data analyst, I was and still am a digital content creator and manager of a portfolio of websites and also dabbled quite a bit in e-commerce. I developed websites and managed every aspect of content creation, distribution, and performance analysis. I have spent hours upon hours analyzing extensive data sets relating to SEO research, audience behavior, and marketing campaigns. I have had to use Microsoft Excel and data analytics tools such as Google Analytics so intensively and exhaustively that I practically know them like the back of my hand. On top of that, I have an MBA from a rather prestigious university. And if you know anything about MBA programs, they are all about conducting market research, working with spreadsheets, having meetings, and making presentations. Essentially, the day-to-day -day task of a professional data analyst. The experience I got from the program was like working for a Fortune 500 company as a data analyst for two years. So by all measures, I was and have been a data analyst for my entire academic and professional life. Yet, it never occurred to me that I was one. In fact, I didn't even know that being a data analyst was a legitimate profession. But that's just my unique experience. The basic point is that we all perform some sort of data analysis when doing mundane and not so mundane everyday things. It's happening everywhere, all the time. Now, let's talk about recognizing your data analytics skills. If you find yourself naturally drawn to organizing information, spotting patterns, or making decisions based on data, you likely have the mindset of a data analyst. Pay attention to instances where you use data to inform your decisions or draw conclusions. These are the building blocks of a data analyst, and chances are you've been doing it without realizing it. Now for the question most of you are either wondering or asking. How can I turn this natural talent into a fulfilling career in data analytics? It's simpler than you might think, but it will require a lot of work on your part. Just because you analyze data in your everyday life doesn't mean employers will come chasing after you with job opportunities. 
You have to leverage your skills and experiences to make yourself irresistible because there's a lot of competition out there. You need to upskill. Even though you may have the mindset of a data analyst, acquiring some technical skills will enhance your profile. As I mentioned, data analysts use a variety of tools for their work, and the most common are Microsoft Excel, programming languages like SQL and Python, and data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI. How many of these tools are you proficient in? Honestly, how many? At a bare minimum, the average professional is proficient in SQL and or Python for extracting and manipulating data, Tableau and or Power BI for data visualization, and Microsoft Excel as a general all-around tool. Knowing these tools is non-negotiable. They are a must for any data analyst worth their salt. If you're lacking in these skills, online platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and Skillshare offer fantastic courses in data analysis and visualization. You can also find excellent tutorials and other useful information on this channel, so make sure to subscribe to get my latest releases. Completing these courses will not only enhance your skill set, but will also provide tangible evidence of your commitment to becoming a proficient data analyst. Despite my academic and professional background, even I had to upskill and become proficient in these core data analytics tools. Nowadays, it's very difficult for a person with no technical academic degree or prior work experience to land even an entry-level data analyst position without first building personal data analysis projects and putting together a portfolio to demonstrate his or her capabilities to potential employers. This portfolio doesn't have to be extensive. Even a few well-documented projects can do the trick, but it helps a lot if your projects tell a compelling story about a topic you have genuine interest in. This is also non-negotiable. Networking is important in any industry, and data analytics is no exception. A powerful way to get seen is to increase your social presence. This includes sharing your projects and portfolio on social media and networking websites. Post your work on LinkedIn, write an article about it on Medium or Substack, and even consider creating a YouTube channel to share your work and document your learning journey. You have to be consistent with sharing your work and being a data analytics advocate to the world because, like I said, just because you have the knack for data analysis and have the capabilities of a professional doesn't mean recruiters will come running after you to serve you a job offer on a silver platter. Once again, this is non-negotiable. You have to make your presence known. In addition to sharing your work online, try to attend local meetups whenever possible. Join online forums, connect with professionals in the field, and volunteer whenever you get the chance. For those of you coming into the profession with no technical academic background or professional work experience, only after recognizing your knack for data analysis, upskilling, building your own projects, and building a social presence will you have a good chance of landing your first job as a data analyst. The competition has become so intense that there is no other prerequisite, but you are sure to get something if you are consistent and diligent with your pursuit. Everything gets much easier once you land your first data analytics job, at which point recruiters will literally come chasing after you with job opportunities. And there you have it, folks, the journey from unintentional data analyst to a potential career in data analytics. This channel was created to help aspiring data workers like yourself improve their data analytics skills. If you found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like it, hit that notification bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming releases, and check out this other video I made just for you.